Good morning and welcome. In Parshas Lech Lecha, God tells Avraham, V'natati lecha ulezarecha acharecha et kol eretz migurecha, et kol eretz knan, achuzat olam. And I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land of Israel as an everlasting possession. We are all blessed and fortunate in our lifetime, we have witnessed the fulfillment of God's promise through the establishment of the State of Israel. The American Zionist movement represents many diverse organizations and individuals, but we all share the same goal of making sure that the State of Israel remains our achuzat olam, our everlasting possession. And therefore, the American Zionist movement is proud to host this biennial, which is appropriately titled Zionism Forward, Unity and Community, bringing together the many voices of Zionism. We hope you enjoy our program. Thank you for coming. And let's continue to try and make a difference for our state of Israel. Thank you. I, I want to take the opportunity to also thank all the staff and people who made this happen, happen. in particular my co-chair Mindy Stein, who is now my new soul sister. Uh, we've got each other's back, as did all the other members of the team who participated in this conference. So I'm happy to be here, and I'm very happy to introduce Galit Peleg, who is from the Council for Public D Diplomacy in New York. Galit was born in Haifa. She served as an officer in the IDF and then studied at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, where she graduated from two departments for Islam and Mid Middle East Studies and International Relations Studies. During her studies, Galit worked with teenagers in several projects, institutions, and boarding schools in Haifa and Jerusalem. In 1998, she joined the Israeli Foreign Service as a cadet. In 1999 to 2000, Galit served as Deputy Ambassador to Morocco. In 2001 to 2005, she was appointed as Deputy Ambassador to Serbia, where she focused on reestablishing the mutual relations between Israel and Serbia during the dismantling process of Yugoslavia. In two, from 2007 to 2011, Galit was the head of the liaison office to the European Parliament at the Israeli Mission to the European Union in Brussels. After returning to Jerusalem, Galit led project, a special process in the field of branding Israel and worked with leading PR firms in Europe at the Media and Public Affairs Division she's very accomplished, at the Foreign Affairs Ministry in Jerusalem. She in initiated a campaign called Start Tel Aviv to, pr to promote Israel as, start as a startup nation in cooperation with the city of Tel Aviv. Start Tel Aviv, which brings non-Jewish entrepreneurs to Israel and turns them into ambassadors for Israel, uh, is running, it in uh, it's running its into its sixth year in more than 50 countries around the world. Galit is currently the head of the Department for Public Diplomacy and Academic Affairs at the Israeli General Consulate in New York. Uh, and it covers the states New, New York, New Jersey, uh, Ohio, and Delaware. It is now my pleasure to introduce Galit. It's so nice during this time of Women's International Month to welcome you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. We also cover Pennsylvania. <laughs> Good morning. Shavua Tov. Thank you very much for inviting me to speak here again. I'm very honored. Uh, every time we talk about Zionism, there are those voices who wonder whether Zionism is still even relevant. Maybe the goal of, the, of that movement was to establish the state of Israel, and therefore Zionism is an issue of the past. I would strongly argue against this 
kind of suggestion, and I'm pretty sure that everybody who's sitting here in this room uh, will agree with me. Zionism is the national uh, definition of the Jewish people. Zionism was not fully accomplished in 1948. Zionism is building and maintaining a society based on Jewish values. And on this note, allow me to um, uh, mention that we are celebrating Women History Month. We already, uh, it's already in your program. So it's appropriate to congratulate the Zionist women uh, organizations that are here um, Amit, Hadassah, Naamat, and Emuna, for, for everything that you are doing. Zionism is making sure that the state of Israel has a strong and stable economy for the long run. Zionism is leveraging the ingenuity and innovation of Israel to the benefit of all humankind. Therefore, Zionism is Israel restoring water infrastructures in Puerto Rico, it's training farmers in Ethiopia how to better sell their flowers to the European markets. It's building a hospital in Ghana and hosting doctors from Nigeria at Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem. It is also, Zionism is also hosting Palestinian doctors in Hadassah in Jerusalem and training them. Zionism is making sure that the Jews are protected from hate, bigotry, and racism. Zionism is strengthening the linkage of the Jews around the world to their homeland. Zionism is strengthening the ties between Israel and the diaspora. Zionism is even sending a spaceship to the moon with a big sign, Am Israel Chai, that we saw last week. <laughs> Zionism is a national movement, but it is also an idea that keeps evolving. It has no expiration day. As long as the Jewish people exist, as long as the state of Israel exists, and we plan to be here for a very, very, very long time, involved and contributing, so the Zionism will continue to exist and to have a purpose. I wish to take this opportunity and thank each and every one of you for your uh, persistent and uncompromising um, support of Zionism and support of Israel. I always feel that we don't say it enough, so thank you. And I want to um, wish you to have a very fruitful event. Thank you very much.